Hi, Meghna. How are you? Hi, sir. I'm fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. So, how many years of experience you have? Uh, I have total five years of experience and uh, where three years on manual testing and two years on automation. Okay, great. So, can you tell us something about the automation framework in which we are working? So now currently I'm working in uh, Python, uh, like uh, to automate the web applications, we are using Python, Python with Selenium. So uh, like we are using the Cucumber, I mean BDD as a framework. Mm. And uh, we are using agile methodology to communicate with the to come in uh, for the communication between the developers and the customers. Mm. And along with this, I have a uh, strong knowledge on uh, uh, Jira, uh, which is a bug tracking tool for us. And uh, I have tested on uh, different testings like uh, regression testing and uh, sanity and smoke testing. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So can you tell me something about the automation framework, like whether it is data driven, it is keyword driven? Uh, automation framework, like you are asking how many types are there? Uh, no, no. So uh, let's say you had mentioned, right? It is a BDD uh, framework, right? Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Then, then in the on the in the same context, we have to continue, like in the BDD framework. How is the yes. folder structure? What is the reporting mechanism? Uh, programming language is Python, you already mentioned. Then you have to tell about yes. the feature file, how the different modules are being, uh, you know, kept in that. If you have any uh, reusable classes, reusable methods in that, are you using testng? Then, uh, like, then uh, web driver manager has been used, or so on and so forth. Then, what is the Cucumber version? So, all these things you have to tell in the automation framework, right? So, automation yeah so whenever they ask you this kind of question you know of, on automation framework i think five to seven minutes you can take to give the answer for this question only right and you have to explain all these things how are the uh, assertions you are keeping whether you are keeping in the step definition file right or where exactly you are keeping what kind of assertions you are keeping those things you can tell okay now what is your contribution to this automation framework uh, like my contribution is like uh, we are using Jenkins language uh, uh, like in this cucumber so uh, uh, like uh, whenever uh, I used to log, for example we are using to, uh, some login pages are there for example take e-commerce uh, when we are logging into some Flipkart or something so we use it to automate the pages mm -hmm. right so the language which is used with uh, in you know, with respect to BDD is Gherkin's language. Jenkins is actually a CI-CD tool, right? With the help of which you will be triggering your automation. You will be running your automation. It's an kind of a continuous uh, implementation, continuous development, those kind of tools is there. That is Jenkins. In BDD framework, you are using Gherkin language with the help of which uh, you will be mentioning the test cases in the form of keywords given when then. Right. Given is given a prerequisite. When. Yes, yes. Yes. Given yes. is a prerequisite. Yes. When is a test step yes, yes. kind of a thing. Then is yes. what you want to assert. Right. And sometimes we are using okay. and keyword also in that. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Now, now uh, you would have seen, you know, whenever you are running your BDD test, after every scenario gets completed, your browser gets closed. And then whenever okay. Another scenario starts, your browser session gets started and a new browser is being launched, right? So what would you do in order to make sure that irrespective of the scenario, your automation is working in the same browser only? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can use driver.close command uh, to close the entire window, right? So right. whenever... Uh, uh, happen so if you want to close only the cur uh, current window we can use driver.quit okay okay see um the the question is related to the browser session okay driver.close okay. driver.quit would be useful for closing the browsers my scenario okay. is you know in bdd we have multiple scenarios which we are executing right 
Yes. After yes. every scenario execution, the browser is getting closed. Whenever the new scenario is getting executed, the new browser is getting launched. Now, my purpose, my end goal is that I want to run all the tests in the same browser. Since the beginning till the end, I want to run them in the same browser. So how will same you browser. do that kind of scenario? Yes. I don't have any ideas. Okay, no worries. So uh, that is absolutely fine. So this would be an open question for the people who are watching this video. That uh, what if we want to continue running the execution of the automated test in the same browser, irrespective of the scenario which has been getting executed. Okay, now how will you write a step definition file for login feature? definition file for a login feature. Mm -hmm. Like by using when then keywords, we can uh, we can write a scenario mm -hmm. uh, like uh, what we should like uh, how, uh, for example, if there is any uh, like login page, username or password. So mm -hmm. by using like uh, uh, scenarios, like what kind of uh, like how what to do and everything and all we can do like by using these keywords, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay, see, uh, step definition file will be having your code that is your java related code whatever the code that you are writing in the backend in the feature file you will be mentioning given when then kind of keywords right so it's a login based feature so what you have to do is you have to identify the elements for example it's a login page of a gmail um, page so you will be identifying the uh, relative xpath or uh, locators for the elements username password field and sign in button right and you will be writing some java related code to launch the browser to click on this particular text box and enter the data in this particular text box then click on that particular button login so that is how you will be writing the code in the step definition file for login functionality okay. right so it is one in okay. the same thing the interviewer has seen that you are actually using BDD framework. So that is why he would be asking you the questions from that context, step definition. But otherwise, they can all or directly tell you how will you write a, you know, how will you automate a login page, right? So step definition is the code, is the file in which we are mentioning all the code. Okay. Okay. What is the difference between before step and after step? uh before step and after step but like when we want to uh, like um uh, like it's like when you want to check the software uh uh like whether it is uh, uh i mean um whether it is working as we expected or not like it is called before step after step is something after the uh, like creation of soft any new software or an application we want to check whether everything is uh, correct or not okay see before step would what what it would do it would execute that particular you know command or line would get execute before each step execution whichever steps you are going to you know run or execute so that particular line will get executed before each step while after step would execute after each step execution right so that is the difference between before step and after step after step okay. right okay um... Okay, can we run multiple feature files in Cucumber? Yes, we can run. We can run multiple feature files. Okay, so can you tell me how it can be achieved? Uh, hmm, I don't have any idea. That is absolutely fine. See, this is a mock interview. So if this question is asked to you in a real time interview, so you can provide the answer like uh, there are there are multiple ways how you can execute, uh, you know, multiple feature files in Cucumber. So one is using test engine, right? 
So in test ng, you can uh, have that uh, data provider option, data provider parallel option set to true, with the help of which you can take care of this multiple execution, right? Then uh, one can also use the uh, Maven based Surefire or I think Failsafe plugin is also there for executing the runner. So with the help of these particular things, you can achieve multiple feature files uh, execution in Kokumba. Okay. okay. Now, how will you skip a particular scenario execution in Kokumba? How will you skip? Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't have any idea. Okay, no worries. So, uh, skip is nothing but, uh, you know, you can ignore or you can skip particular Cucumber text uh, test using tags. Okay, there are various tags available and uh, those uh, tags you can mention in the, uh, in all the scenarios in a particular feature file, right? You can skip a particular scenario, you can skip particular set of scenarios or you can skip all the, all the scenarios in a feature file as well, right? So, okay. right? So accordingly you can do, and one more option is actually at the rate ignore that particular rate rate you ignore. can use. Yeah, right. So that also you can uh, use. Okay, what is test runner? Uh, test runner is a class, uh, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, yes, absolutely. You are moving in the right direction. Please proceed. Uh, yeah. What is test runner? It's a class. And what is the significance of test runner? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> like I don't have not okay. getting. No worries. See, test runner file is actually uh, the file which would contain the path of the feature file and the step definition file that we want to execute, right? So it is a kind of a triggering point, you can say, triggering mechanism that what automation you would like to run, right? So that is a test runner file. Okay. Now, uh, what is test ng? uh test ng is like a tool uh, uh by like we can manage our code using test ng and not only that we can um, uh, reports we can manage our reports by using test ng for example so a project can be handled by like multiple users across the globe like multiple people can work on the same project across the globe mm -hmm. so by using this uh, test ng uh, it will be it will be useful for us to uh, like work on the same project. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so test ng would help you to you know prioritize your test or uh, you know prioritize the execution of your test. You can also have various annotations in test ng like at the rate before test, before suit, at the rate after test, after suit. These kind of tags are also available in uh, test ng. Right. Okay. okay. How will you take the screenshot for a failed test case? Screenshot uh, for a failed test case. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we can write a code like take screenshot equal to screenshot of web dot web driver. By using this, uh, we can take the screenshot of that test case. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, whenever this question is asked, you know, for taking screenshots for failed test cases, you can explain about extent report in that there is a mechanism to take the screenshot. And whenever that particular report is generated, you will get particular that particular screenshot in that report as well. You can also explain about eye test listeners, right? And you can talk it's about integration. Good. Yeah, integration of all these things with Jenkins. So whenever the final report would get in that the in that report, the pass fail along with the screenshots would also be there. Okay. Okay. What is try catch? 
try catch it's a exception by we can handle uh, exceptions by using this try catch finally or, or yes yes so exceptional handling can be done using try catch right yeah um what is smoke testing hello megna what is smoke testing yeah you will have to unmute yourself Hello, Meghna, am I audible? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, now, now your voice is coming. Yes. Ah, yes, sir, yes. Okay, Sorry. so what is smoke testing? No worries, this happens, uh, you know, in a real-time interview, you have to take care of all these things, okay? okay? Because these days, every interview would be virtual interview, so you have to ensure that your video buffering audio and all those things are going good okay okay now let's move to the question what is smoke testing uh smoke testing uh generally we'll do smoke testing to check the integrity of the uh like uh, computer uh, like software or an application whenever we develop any software and application we'll check how it works complete integrity when when it is working in any system or something we uh, will check uh, like a stability we can simply tell smoke testing is to check the stability of an any uh, software or any product mm -hmm. correct so um integrate integrity and all those things we will be doing we will be taking care of all those things in the integration testing right smoke testing okay. you will test the stability of the application and you will ensure that this particular build or this particular release is in a good shape or is in a you know uh, having that much stability that you can proceed with further rounds of testing right so that is smoke testing okay. 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 Now, what is the difference between regression testing and retesting? Regression testing and retesting. Retesting. Yes. Uh, regression testing is like, uh, uh, for example, uh, we want to we we made any changes in that like once if any uh, software or an application is there once it is released uh, we want to make sure even after the changes or changes made even the software is working as expected or not regression testing is something if you if you made any changes even if it is working as fine we expected or not retesting is something so even if we test something we find any bug or something so we want to test it again like everything uh, how much uh, uh, like uh, whether we have gone wrong in like uh, in any aspect or not like that okay see uh, retesting uh, you know is uh, testing to check whether known bugs have been fixed or not whether you know whatever bugs whatever defects you had logged those are being fixed or not while regression testing is uh, making sure or testing that whichever bugs are fixed those are not creating any side effects on the already existing features or existing functionalities right so whatever bugs are being fixed because of them the already working functionality or feature is not being broken right so that is regression testing okay now which is important regression testing is important or retesting is more important Regression testing is important. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, can you can you give me uh, one simple example of a defect with low severity and high priority? Mm, low severity. Uh, for example, uh, if we develop any mobile application, so uh some if we saw like uh, if we saw any spelling mistakes like whether we are logging into any something or facebook or instagram uh we found any spelling mistake it's not an high severity issue but uh, sometimes user feels it's very awkward 
some such type of spelling mistakes sometimes we might feel awkward so what is this this is an uh, application like will feel awkward so right. that is the right. case absolutely so that's a good answer that is low severity and priority would be high because spelling mistake is there brand image or logo is not displayed properly so that would be a high priority issue okay can you give me an example of uh, you know regression testing and retesting uh regression testing uh same like if we developed any mobile app uh, so uh, some we found these kind of bugs like spelling or any logo mistakes are there so uh, like once uh, again another version will be there uh, right so uh, like uh, they will release into the another uh, different kinds of version or sometimes they'll solve these bugs and all so uh, to check uh, regression testing will be done uh, like you told right like regression testing will be done whether known bugs uh, are not creating problem whatever the bugs uh, we found or not so regression testing is something uh, like these kind of spelling mistakes or something logo mistakes is not repeated again mm -hmm. so retesting is something like uh, um, uh, already we found these bugs right so uh, it can't be repeated in it can't be repeated in another mm -hmm. taking care of all of these right so whenever you know this question is asked to you in a real time interview you can give simple answer like for example you have a test case xyz okay. X, test case is there okay. that actually uh, you know resulted that was not working so you created a defect id uh, for example 4201 right okay. now that particular okay. defect okay. id 4201 is fixed so now you will retest that particular thing and regression okay. testing means because of fixing of that particular defect 4201 no side effects or uh, you know the existing functionalities are not being broken so that is regression testing regression. Okay. Yeah. okay okay megna i am done with the interview do you have any questions for me no no like so, if recording is stopped then i'll ask i have okay. few questions fine fine i'll stop the recording